Hugh Lane was born in 1875 in Douglas, just outside Cork, but spent most of his childhood in England because his father was an Anglican clergyman and his key parish was in Cornwall. And he had a very peripatetic, slightly disturbed upbringing because his parents' marriage was very unhappy, so his mother would frequently leave and take the children with her. So he actually had very little formal education. When Hugh Lane was 18, his parents separated, which was very unusual, particularly for a clergyman in the 19th century. Uh, and it was decided that Hugh needed to get a job. He'd always shown an interest in art, so his mother arranged for him to be apprenticed to an art dealer in London, and that was the beginning of his career, dealing in paintings. He actually only lasted for a year with the dealer before he set himself up at the age of 19 as an independent dealer, and he very quickly became so successful that by the time he was in his mid-twenties, effectively he was able to act as a gentleman dealer. He could buy and sell as suited him. The real quality that Lane possessed was not education, but he had an instinct that made him pick out what was a picture with potential, particularly paintings that had been neglected by other auctioneers and dealers, buy them cheap and sell them dear, and in that way he made himself very wealthy, very young. In the early 1900s, Hugh Lane decided to come and spend some time in Ireland. His mother's sister was Lady Gregory of Cool Park, and through her he met a great deal of other people, such as W.B. Yeats and Singh. He became familiar with all those key players in the Irish literary revival, and they really influenced him to become engaged with contemporary art and to try and see if he could do in the visual arts what they were doing in the literary arts. And that really explains why he decided to establish a modern art gallery in Dublin. What he hoped to achieve with this gallery was to inspire Irish artists to see what was happening internationally and to create a modern art movement in Dublin, which would be the equivalent of the literary movement associated with the Abbey Theatre.